So looking at this Python algorithm that we need to basically try and create, we've got challenge seven that we're up to now. So this time we're gonna build on some of the other concepts that we've already learned, such as creating variables, looking at which data types to actually use, um, following the process of the input process output. So seeing what our inputs are gonna be, what's happening in the middle and what our output is gonna end up as. So if we start by looking at the inputs, we look at this problem here, if we go a little bit closer in. So what we're being asked to do is ask the user for distance in meters and ask the user for time in seconds that a journey was completed in. So we need to think of sensible names for this. So distance and time could be um, easy ones to use. So what I'm gonna do, start this Python code. I'm going to create a variable called distance and a variable called time. And we want those to both be inputs. So just as we've done in previous videos, we're gonna create it as an input and we're gonna create a time as an input. Then what we need to do is think about which data types these are gonna to need to be. So time in seconds could be an integer. You could put it as a float if you want it to be super duper accurate. But for this particular case, we're gonna stick with integer. And distance is also in meters. Doesn't specify ever in any half meters or anything like that. So again, we're gonna stick with whole numbers and put integer. For every bracket that we open, we need to close them. So we've got two open and brackets. We're gonna need two closing brackets and the same with this one. And then we need to think of a sensible message for the user. Now this is where you really not need to start thinking about some validation. And the simplest form of validation is just making sure that the user puts the right thing in. So if we specifically tell them what to put in, it makes it easier. So what is the distance? And we'll put in meters in. And then that way we know that they're gonna type it in as a whole number in meters. We can also do the same with this. So what is the journey time? Dear me. Journey time in seconds. And that's gonna be our two inputs. Now for the process stage, we need to look at what calculations need to be carried out. So it says calculate and output the average speed using a function. So what we're gonna do is work out what the average speed is. So I'm gonna call this really obvious, sensible name, average speed. If you want, you often see people making it shorter, like av speed, or you could even just put it as speed because we know that speed equals distance over time. So what we're gonna do, is speed equals distance over time. We use the divide symbol and the divide symbol is as you go around the numpad, it starts with plus, it goes to minus, then times, and then divide. It's basically a slash. So speed equals distance over time. And then we need to output it. So we output using print. And we can just literally put that variable in and that will work. Or we can give them a little message as well. So we could put average speed is put a comment in. If we save this as Python, where are we? Documents, Python, up to challenge seven, and we'll run the program. What is the distance in meters? Let's say 100 meters, and say they ran it in nine, Point five seconds. It's not going to work because it put a decimal in. So I'm actually going to do float. And that way we can run this program now. And we'll be able to put 9.5 in. So if someone runs the 100 meters in 9.5 seconds, this is their average speed.